Alright guys and uh, welcome to the Extreme Take channel. Uh, for today's video I'm uh, gonna show you uh, walk the cap technique, uh, especially for beginners. So we're gonna start with uh, basic steps, it's on a plate. Try to remove the mile scale, drop some lines, uh, they can be different uh, width. And uh, for a cup, we're gonna use cup size 8, tungsten 1.8, stick out up to 10 mil. So the basic and most important thing here on a plate is uh, learn how to roll that cup, how to walk the cup. Uh, with the tip of the tungsten you're gonna stretch that puddle from uh, line to line. You don't wanna cross that lines. Uh, so you can use different techniques. Here example of walking of uh, freehand. But the main, the main thing is uh, keep that puddle in uh, between lines. That's how you're gonna learn how to control that puddle. Uh, with a, you can also change, try with different sizes of uh, cups, 6, 8, 10, 12, play with uh, settings, play with your amperage, you can go faster, you can go slower, stretch, uh, go wider steps, bigger steps, uh, try to switch different uh, filler wires, uh, 332, 18, 532, that's how, you're gonna, that's how you're gonna learn, that's how you're gonna control the puddle. Uh, and uh, to maintain that uh, the same straight edge on uh, on the both sides uh, this is how it should look like okay now let's go on a pipe um, so once you do on a plate try to do on a pipe uh, on a root pass so you can uh, you can use a couple different uh, things you got you can uh, switch on a cup side six that's uh, what i like to use sometimes so you can actually wiggle that cup inside the groove it's uh, really fast and uh, easy to put a root so I'm gonna show you example here on a 6 inch pipe skate 80 uh, this is how I sharpen my tungsten uh, it's in the fill it's not recommended usually we use a bench grinder with a diamond wheel uh, but here I gotta use an uh, uh, angle grinder okay as I said uh, cup 8 tungsten stick out up to 10 mil uh, cup size is about 8 uh, tungsten 1.8 okay this is a little example on the root uh, so I got a cup 8 here uh, you're not actually wiggle it I'm kind of walking the cup on the root uh, with a lay wire technique or a constant feed with a smaller cup you can actually go inside that uh, inside that bevel and you just uh, wiggle uh, it's easier, it's faster. This is one of the advantages of uh, walking the cup uh, on the route. Uh, you can uh, really weld that uh, pipe fast, uh, smooth, as you can see from the outside. Uh, you can see that uh, you actually walk the cup on a route pass. Just by looking at that uh, pattern that is uh, from the outside, that uh, outside appearance, that's how we know. Uh, let's uh, walk the cup. Okay, so for a uh, hot pass, the same thing, walking the cup. Walking the cup uh, gives you better control, makes you weld a little bit faster than if you freehand, for example. You know, for a freehand, you have to go slow, you have to, you know, side to side motion. Uh, with walking the cup, you actually gain better control over your weld puddle, and uh, it gives you a little bit more advantage. Uh, as you notice, uh, the cups are uh, the ones I'm using in all my videos pretty much they're pink uh, the reason why they pink uh, because they're made from uh, alumina oxide uh, that's why they got that pink color I don't know if you know but alumina is a high temperature non-conductive pink uh, ceramic material and uh, it's it's a uh, mass produced uh, which is why alumina nozzles are less expensive and uh, then uh, the other one they are made from uh, different materials those fancy ones so basically walking the cup is uh, as you can see here is actually like theoretically walking the cup should be a technique that you actually walk in that cup on the material that you deposit it in but we like to use the uh, term walking the cup on the route uh, hat pass fill and final pass uh, so the main thing uh, with walking the cup on a on a on a final pass or on a cap is uh, inclination 
inclination of your uh, teak torch, inclination of your uh, rod, filler wire. Is there any particular exact inclination? No, inclination changes, you know, as, uh, especially if you're in a field. So it's always uh, very, you go from uh, extreme angles to like 15 degrees, 30, 33, so it doesn't really matter. That's why it's uh, really important to catch some basics at the beginning. So you got a good start, especially as I said, if you're a beginner. That's why uh, practicing on a plate or on a on a angle iron or something like that, you know, you just uh, try to get your hand familiar, you know, to that uh, motion, to that uh, walking the cup. Uh, what I think usually what it takes, uh, it takes six to seven months of uh, really constant practice to really be good at uh, walking the cup technique. And uh, this is the final product with uh, walking the cup. As you can see, straight straight edges uh, on both sides of the weld bead, uh, equal steps, and the final product looks good. And that's one of the advantages. Okay, now we're gonna show you a uh, cup size 10. What is the advantage of uh, uh, different cups? Uh, different, uh, that just means uh, more gas coverage for that uh, weld puddle, for the weld zone. Uh, also with a bigger gap, uh, also with a bigger cup you can uh, have that uh, wider step you know you can stretch that uh, for example cap here I'm gonna do it's gonna be uh, wide uh, which uh, wouldn't be possible with uh, probably with a cup uh, eight that's why on a big heavy walls on a heavy pipes big pipes you want to go with uh, bigger nozzles Usually guys ask me if uh, is there any difference of uh, or is it important about a gas flow that goes through your torch? Uh, yes, it is. Of course, uh, what I like to go, I like to go with 20, 25, 30. Sometimes it all depends from the from the pipe, from the weld, from the material and the application. More more gas uh, cleans your weld, gives nice good protection. And especially when you're running hot. So as you can see here, the control, side to side motion with uh, walking the cap. Tungsten always gotta be sharp. Uh, that's one of the important things. Uh, the sharp tungsten gives you good, really good control over that uh, weld puddle. And the rest is you. The rest is your, uh, your how focused you are while you're welding. You know, there's uh, lots of uh, things that can be, you can be distracted, especially where, uh, when you're holding that torch close to that weld, it's getting hot. You know, your tip of your fingers, if you if you hold that uh, filler wire too too low, you can uh, start burning your fingers. And this is one example. Just want to show you that walking the cup is actually the motion of your arm, not the wrist. Wrist uh, is a uh, motion when you do on a, when you do wiggle on. A, for example, on a groove, on a root pass, when you wiggle inside that uh, groove. Okay, another example, cup uh, size 12. This is for, uh, this is everything, this is a 16, 16 inch pipe. Heavy wall, as you can see, that groove here, that uh, bevel is big, wide. That's why bigger, bigger cap, it's perfect. Lots of gas going through that cup, so it's gonna cover your weld zone. Uh, tungsten stick out can be even a little bit bigger than 10 mil. So the big pipe like that uh, can be weld very, very fast, especially if you use 532, and uh, you can continue like from uh, once you start fill passes, you know, fill to flush, and uh, you can do cap, cap pass with the uh, cup sizes 12 as well. 160 amps on a, on a disc cap. Higher amps, you know, gives you 
more control you can go faster you know with a big with a big cup you can have a uh, wide steps you can go wide with your each step so which uh, which will help you you know to move from especially from some positions they are really uncomfortable awkward especially at the bottom it'll help you you know to start moving faster and uh, going up all the way to the top and that's it pretty much uh, as always as I said you gotta burn to learn there's no other way around guys uh, I hope this video is gonna help you you know uh, to sharpen your skills to get better in walking the cup technique and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it, like it, uh, give a thumbs up, always feel free to comment, send me email, I'll try to respond if when I got time, usually I do, and that's it, uh, take care guys, play safe, and see you in the next one.